investing in plants that you plan to root for and end up loving because they're winners, it's no fantasy draft. That's why we're glad to have the botanic savvy of horticultural coach Brandy Ide in choosing a lineup of garden superstars. I have a list of most valuable plants that are really great for the Mojave Desert. They will bloom, many of them, throughout the year. They're very low water use, and a lot of them are really great performers for some of the toughest landscape challenges that you might face. Beginning with a franchise quarterback for your landscape that stands tall and has a lot of arms and is a bit of a showboat. So for trees, the desert willow is a great performer. It's going to be multi-branched, it takes full sun exposures, and it blooms pretty much throughout the entire warm months of the year. So it's a great performer, it draws uh, a lot of pollinators, seasonal litter, it will be deciduous in the cold winters, but again, pretty low water use, and beautiful throughout the warm months with blooms in white, lavender, pink, and hot pink. So a very stunning plant overall. No team would be complete without these two-stepping Texas tight ends that only score when it matters the most. Some of the Texas Sage, Texas Rangers are a great one. They're going to bloom in the humid season. So in the summer months, we'll get sporadic blooming in colors of white, blue, pink, lavender. It's a fantastic one, again, for those hard, sunny exposures with reflected heat. So maybe where you haven't been able to manage to get plants to grow elsewhere. It will also tolerate some shade, but maybe not be as prolific a bloomer. And there's a really wide variation in size there. You can get plants that are three feet tall to eight feet tall and wide. So really just make sure you select the proper plant for placement with those. Then there's the kicker that can sometimes wither when the opposing forces try to freeze it or deliver with flying colors when the game is on the line. For another shrub, Tacoma or the yellow bells also comes in blooming colors of orange, reds and every shade in between. It's a little bit more frost sensitive so you want to be sure that you put it in a little bit more of a protected place. It will often die back and drop leaves in winter but come back in full force in the springtime. Again, blooming throughout most of the warm months and takes that full sun exposure, fairly low water use, great for pollinators. It's a beautiful plant that again comes in a range of sizes from five feet to maybe 15 feet or more depending on which plant you select. There are so many members of the defensive line that they may seem interchangeable until they stop you cold in a rush with their eye-catching shapes and sizes. There are many, many yuccas that perform well here. They will bloom in the warmer months with a nice white bell flower attracting a lot of pollinators. And again, you can find these in a very small stature of up to one foot by many, many dozens of feet tall. Down and dirty and prickly in the trenches is the offensive line that's essential for the success of the desert garden. There are a number of cacti that perform very well. Of course, all of the native cacti are well adapted here, but depending on what your nurseries have, some of them will tolerate full blazing sun and others will require a little bit of shade in our summer hot months. So just make sure that you choose the right plant for the right place and be aware if some of these are spiny, you might not want to place them right in high traffic areas. These role players on the special teams are the most likely to make your garden highlight reel with flashes of brilliant colors and dazzling moves. Penstemon are a great choice for wildflowers and perennials. So many of these species will perform very well either in full sun conditions or part shade with a variety of colors, primarily through the warmer months. So make sure that your species is site located according to what its particular needs are. With this list of top picks, you're as ready as you're ever going to be to scout around for the best prospects and score with some of these garden MVPs.